you know anything about Gary's Mod's nearly 20 year long history, you'll know that there have been 13 major updates to Gmod. Starting with Gmod 1 in December 2004, and leading all the way up to 2012's Gmod 13, which remains the latest version. When Gmod was added to Steam in 2006 along with the Gmod 10 update, it became much easier to push interim updates between these major revisions, that fixed bugs and added a small new feature or two. However, in the archaic dark ages of the internet when you actually had to manually download and install Gmod, it was necessary to make the smaller updates into distinct versions so that people knew that they were using the latest patch. The naming of these updates entirely depended on how Gary felt that day. As some would use a decimal place like 9.0.1, others a letter like 6b, or sometimes both I guess. None of these were ever actually crazy enough to be worth noting though. The biggest change that any of these updates ever introduced was when Gmod 3A added a new textured version of GM Construct alongside the original Matrix-inspired White Room version. However, if development had gone as Gary originally intended it to go, Gmod could well have seen a minor update that would have completely changed the mod. Looking back through Gary's old 2005 blog posts, you can find mention of a version called Gmod 8.4. And if you'll please consult the chart, we can see that this version just doesn't exist in our timeline. Whatever, right? Since it was using the small update naming scheme, Gary was just working on a bug fix update for version 8 that was simply ported over to version 9 instead. Right? Well, you might be surprised to learn that there were 10 posts in total mentioning 8.4. And for good reason. This was going to be the update that added Lua scripting to Gmod, which went on to become the game's most defining feature for modders. Since Gary was already looking at adding it into his other game, Face Wound, he figured that adding it to Gmod would be a great opportunity, both for modding capabilities and for server admins to enact 1984. So, it was decided that the next minor update of Gmod should feature a Lua implementation. More blog posts over the next month would show off all the cool things that Lua could do, like custom weapons, custom HUD elements, and most of all, custom game modes. See, Gary had established a tradition where pre-release versions of Gmod would be given out to gold members of the Facepunch forums. How did you become a gold member? For 8.4, this was especially beneficial, as it allowed some of the more tech-savvy gold members to get a head start on creating mods for this new version. And some of these early game modes got a spotlight right on Gary's blog, such as Tag, Football, and Barrel Mania. Of course, Gary also contributed a few game modes of his own, like Melon Racer and Nine Tenths, but he actually made a game mode before these two that never saw the light of day, Running Man. There's a few screenshots of Running Man attached to the post, and considering that the map the game mode is being played on was called Game Mode Test, it's pretty obvious it was never meant to be a mainstay. Evidently, this minor update was set to revolutionize the entire mod. In the final blog post mentioning 8.4, Gary admits that no matter who he shows the update to, everyone says the exact same thing. Why is this not called Gmod 9? So that's what he did. On September the 30th, Gmod 8.4 was officially renamed to Gmod 9, where it would eventually release as the biggest update the mod had ever seen up to that point. So whatever, right? This version isn't actually lost, it just became Gmod 9 during development. Technically, yeah. But there's clearly some content in these blog posts that was lost along the way. Running Man is most likely the first game mode ever made for Gary's mod, which is now lost along with 8.4. There's also this extremely awesome video of Melon Racer running on 8.4, where you can see an earlier HUD. But most importantly of all, it would be pretty cool to complete the collection, I guess. It's not like there's any other versions that were straight up rena- oh. Clearly not learning from his previous mistake of underestimating the size of his updates, Gary rather naively declared, that the update bringing Gmod to Steam would be called 9.1. Whereas Gmod 9 added Lua scripting to the game, 9.1 would expand the implementation to support client-sided Lua, where custom Lua code could be run on the player's client instead of just the server. Even though this version was only very briefly in existence before being renamed to Gmod 10, it actually has two leaked versions available. If you aren't a Lua nerd though, 
It might not interest you all that much. The new stuff to toy around with in this version comes in the form of some test lure files that Gary left for gold members to find. Each of them show off something that the new client-side lure can do, like messing with HUD elements, menus, shaders, and even things like a weapons view model. Means bag in the bin, Gmod 9.1, woof. As for 8.4 though, sadly, no, only teasing, of course, there's something else. Gmod 8.4 actually leaked. Back in 2005, the story goes that one of the Facepunch Gold members accidentally sent a random guy his Gmod V7A install, which happened to include a copy of 8.4. I'm not sure either. But you can find a ton of mentions around various 2005 gaming forums in various languages, ranging from people just mentioning the leak's existence, to outright posting a download link using some long defunct file hosting site. The chances of a working link actually appearing look slim, but for the last year I'd occasionally been taking a trip down the Wayback Machine rabbit hole to see if I could find anything. And while each trip was a fun lesson in 20 year old internet culture, Nothing fruitful ever actually turned up. Until just last week, when some Gmod beta stuff was being brought up in the Gmod Discord, 8.4 was mentioned, I gave it a quick Google search for shits and giggles, one thing leads to a random Hungarian blog site, and wouldn't you know it, suddenly a working download link was just on the third page of Google. The blog post was made around the time of the original leak by a Hungarian guy named Nazi Attila, whose name I've definitely mispronounced. Hey, how come I never spotted this blog post after all that time searching for 8.4? Pretty simple, actually. This site was only just fixed a few months ago. Even with the site being relaunched, though, it was extremely lucky that the download link was self-hosted and that it still worked after nearly 20 years. That's some quality upkeep. But as for the main event, does the mod still work after nearly two decades? This is Beta 4 of Gmod 8.4. With a build date of August the 24th, 2005, this predates the final release of Gmod 9 by about two months. It's not quite the original beta though, as whoever leaked this copy decided to add their watermark into the menu background and the top of the fizz gun texture. There's not much that's different in the sandbox mode other than an earlier spawn menu, but this version also comes with a copy of Running Man, as well as its map game mode test. Obviously, I had to get some people together to see how well this nearly 20 year old lost game mode plays. To the Stone Age with you. Bitch. <laughs> oh, I did it again. No, he's going. To... No, he's, he's going to be beat me. You can't, you can't let him win. Grab. Oh, you pop blocking fat bastard. Yes. Why is Q always as well? Yes! Yes! No! No! Shockingly, it's a very simple game mode. One guy is twice as fast as everyone else and has a thousand HP. Everyone else has to try and kill them. Whoever lands the killing blow becomes the new running man. Or while the running man tries to kill as many moss men as possible to become the best runner. Honestly, compared to the game modes that actually released with Gmod 9, it's not that bad. There's no reason this couldn't have been a part of the full game with a slightly more polished map. Since Running Man is definitely the main attraction of this build though, I don't blame you if you don't want to download an entire source mod just to check out a game mode. So, I've gone ahead and ported it to Gmod 13 for your convenience. Link in the description. And of course, Gmod 8.4 is now available for download on both ModDB and Archive.org. Links are also in the description. Remember though, this isn't THE Gmod 8.4, but A Gmod 8.4. According to what seems to be Gary himself, Beta 10 was the latest version of 8.4 by the time the original leak of Beta 4 occurred, so there's plenty more potential builds out there that could be on someone's old hard drive, waiting to be found. You never know. Subscribe to Figado. Watching his content will improve your gamer sense 100%.
Amazing. Yeah, that was a single. Yeah, 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 yeah,